to another episode on Public Health Answers. The last couple of months have proven us the importance of public health policies on our daily lives. The area of political environment is often described as very complex, involving multiple stakeholders from an interdisciplinary background. In order to get a better understanding on this complex political environment, I'm honored to introduce you to Stefan Spiecher, who has served as a vice president at the Federal Office of Public Health in Switzerland, focusing on health political strategy development, change management, uh, the enforcement of existing laws and many more key areas. He has recently started his new job as a CEO at the Carium Foundation, which promotes education in the health and social sector. So thank you very much for joining us today. I'll start with my first question. How can we translate clear COVID-19 guidelines, which are based on a political complex environment? So let me start uh, with a few preliminary remarks. First of all, we need a clear understanding on how politics and science work together. Politics is about power and legitimacy. Power means that decisions can be made blindly, but also that they have to be made. It's not about recommendations, but about decisions, and politicians must take the responsibility for them. Not only technical and scientific arguments are considered, but also ideological issues. For example, you, the politicians have to judge if a solution is fair or not fair. Legitimacy, on the other hand, means that the large part of the population, I would say about 75% or so, is able to comprehend and understand the decisions. Decisions uh, that are technically and scientifically correct, but not accepted by the population, will hardly be implemented in practice. There is a long tradition in uh, political science research in Switzerland that shows how difficult it is to implement decisions that have only a very narrow majority. This is even more a, a problem in Switzerland than in other countries. We have a strong direct democratic tradition. This means that we vote on substantive issues at all political levels at last four times a year. In this tradition, it, it, it is extremely difficult to implement decisions that do not have a broad support. Against this background, if we now want to implement guidelines in COVID-19 area, we need the following three conditions. First, a broad understanding and a broad agreement on the basic orientation of the guidelines. Second, simple, clear guidelines that are easy to apply in everyday life. I guess more is less is a good topic in this area. If it is clear that it's the third point from the guidelines that they, are, that they also take in account more economic and societal perspectives, then this is certainly better for an acceptance than the other way around. Let me conclude by saying the following. It is also clear from what I have said that in a system like Switzerland, measures tend to become too late. It always takes a long time to reach a consensus. Unfortunately, it often takes time for the damage to be done before action can be taken. Or if you want to use a metaphor, the fire brigade is only called when the attic is already burning. How can the Federal Office of Public Health ensure transparency when making COVID-19 policies? The Federal Office uh, of Public Health has a dual role. The first role, on the one hand, it prepares the decision of the government called Bundesrat in Switzerland Federal Council. This work is confidential, of course. The basis of the decisions are published at best but not in every case, after the government's decision. If the government deviates from the Federal Office of Public Health's recommendation, no transparency is established. This would weaken the position of the government. On the other hand, of course, the Federal Office of Public Health's task today is also to direct inform the population and all interested parties 
so that they can not that, that they can act correctly. Maximum transparency here is solved. With the COVID-19, there was an additional challenge in Switzerland. Because we knew little about the virus, close collaboration with the scientific community had also to be established. At the beginning, this cooperation was a bit bumpy, but in the meantime, things are getting better and better. But there is a fundamental problem. Science is strongly committed to transparency and open discussion, that's clear. In politics, on the other hand, full transparency cannot always be guaranteed with regard to the acceptance of the decisions. Moreover, open discussions sometimes cause confusion. This confusion um, can also mean that no action is taken because the public or the media believe that clarity should be created first. This can lead to long delays also. What are key components um, within the procedure from developing to implementing public health policies? I have been responsible uh, for developing a number of strategies in the Federal Office of Public Health over the last 12 years. Despite all the differences in the development of the individual strategies, their scope, but also their different objects, it became clear that some steps are always the same. Very important, of course, with all these strategies is uh, uh, the involvement of the stakeholders and to take into consideration the meaning, the, the opinions of the stakeholders. Six steps can be distinguished in this process. First, the situation analysis, then the development of a package of measures. Of course, the political agreement of these measures Fourth, the implementation, five, an evaluation of these measures, and six, of course, the improving of the package of this measure. There are, of course, a number of difficulties to overcome in any of these kind of strategies. This also depends on the topic of the strategy, of course, especially with COVID-19. But what they all have in common is the challenge in finding a division of labor in Switzerland between the national and the local levels. The local level is called the cantons in Switzerland. The cantons have a great competence, have great competences in health policy. The federal government often only sets the framework. As a result, strategies have to be implemented jointly. Uh, confederation and cantons together, but with very different roles for the confederation and the cantons. The confederation is often the coordinator, the initiator, the mediator. The cantons have the role of the implementer, but also of the financier. Of course, this always leads to tensions between the confederations and the cantons. Thank you very much, Dr. Spiecher, for elaborating on the complex political environment of Switzerland. We are honored that you're part of our program.